Chuck Foodie. I'm your host, Angie Villaro. Today we are down at the South Street Seaport for the first annual International Food Truck and Beer Festival. As you can see behind me, there are tons of food trucks lined up. We've got all kinds of people. Bands are playing. We've got great brews going on over here. It's a really fun time. A lot of excitement happening. So of course, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to those trucks and we're going to find the best of them for you. Now our last truck along the line is Slovaki GR. I'm having a little difficulty saying that word, so hopefully they can help us out. Let's go talk with Josh here. Josh, thank you so much for talking with us. Oh, it is my pleasure to be talking with you guys. How are we doing? I love it. Okay, tell us a little bit about the truck. Well, it's blue, it's Greek, and it has some great food on it. We have Greek fries, which are French fries with feta cheese and oregano. They won a Vendi Award. And also we have some of the best of Lockie in New York. It's um, chicken or pork. It's all very traditional Greek food. Uh, the owners are Greek and they like to keep it as authentic as possible. And for the most part, this is something that you could get on the streets of Greece. All of our food is also very lean. A lot of people actually eat it as a diet and they lose a lot of weight because a lot of the like dishes are chicken and you know like lettuce. So it's actually very healthy for you. And um, basically, you know, the Greek fries are phenomenal. Also, if you want to try even more authentic Greek recipes, you can go to our um, restaurant at 116 Stanton Street in the Lower East Side. And that literally looks like stepping into Mykonos. Like people comment how when they walk past it, it's like almost an artistic, as much of an artistic thing as it is like a culinary thing. So you can go to the restaurant, feel like you're in Greece, or you can go to the truck and feel like you're on the streets of Greece. I like that. That's very cool. The restaurant doesn't have me, so I mean, you obviously want to go to the truck because, come on, who gets interviewed at the restaurant? Nobody. Obviously you want to come to the truck. Alright, I think we're going to try maybe the fries that got the Vendi award? I mean, uh, come on, right? They won an award. We got to try them. I would love to give you the fries, except for one thing. They were so popular today that they sold out. You guys all beat me down here and ate the fries. I hope you enjoyed them. All right, let's try something else. What's your next best? Um, I would give you, a, I'll give you an option. I think that you would like the, the, the stick. It's a chicken stick or a pork stick. It comes with a little pita and tzatziki. Or you can try a, a chicken wrap or a pork wrap. What's the most authentic Greek? Why don't you try the sticks? I think you'll like those. We're going to do that. All right. And I love that he said it's healthy. So we have a lot of fried food that we've been looking at. But you want something a little healthier, high in protein? Come on over here. I mean, I love that. Best of both worlds. Okay. We're ready. I love how fast they are. Look, it's already ready. So we call it true New York style. Here we go, guys. These are the chicken sticks that you can have anytime you visit us down on Wall Street on Old Slip and Front Street. Why don't you whip them out and try them? They're delicious. Awesome. Okay. I they're gonna be a little easier to eat because he said sticks yes now this makes my life easier this is what you can eat on the run all right let's try this mmm again such tender juicy meat has a little spice on it not too much I like that you can taste the char from the grill that gives it a very summery feel. Everything we're eating today is so summery, so picnic. This is delicious. This is a great snack. You're not getting a lot of carbs. You're not getting a lot of grease. It's a good thing to eat on the run. Eat while you're at work. I love that. That's delicious. We've eaten a lot of great food. We tried a lot of the trucks. We've seen some of our old friends. Listening to some music now. Had some brews. Met great people. It has been an awesome, awesome day. Come check it out. Definitely come next year. It's happening annually. But the great part is they do a lot of these festivals all the time down here. So you don't have to wait for the International Food Truck and Beer Festival to come down and take part. Come to our website. Go to bizcaster.tv. You can check out when they're going to have more of these festivals, festivals. And, of course, you can follow me on my show, Food Truck Foodie. Until next time, eat adventurously.